This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. So that means you'll be able to drive both an automatic and a manual, right? So for us, what we do is we're going to train you with both, you know, both an automatic and we also train you with a manual so that at least, you know, you know what you're doing. Uh, the manual costs 6500 and then the automatic costs 4500 That's just That's just the main difference. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Maylee Trans Trucking School out of Shakopee, Minnesota. Yes, sir. They say you can start your career there in just four to six weeks. When you get up there, you will also be able to train and test out in a manual so that your license will not be restricted. Is this uh, Miley Trans? Miley Trans Trucking School, yes. Uh, Miley Trans Trucking School. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, uh, basically, one of the ads popped up in my, in my feed, and I'm just kind of curious uh you know the route that i need to take to get my cdl uh i only have a few questions oh, about, okay uh i only have a few questions about what you guys offer me for the schooling so you guys is located up in shakopee minnesota right that is correct yes how far away from uh canterbury uh you know the car casino right there in shakopee Oh, actually, we're just a few blocks away. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, so how much? Uh, how, how much do the program? Uh, how much is the program, and how long is it? Does it cost? Yes, sir. Sure. So it depends. Are you trying to do automatic, or are you trying to do like a manual? Manual. Oh, so you guys do man? Okay, yeah, manual. But there's different costs between the yep. two, though. Yes, because the manual, you you know, it's going to be unrestricted license. So that means you'll be able to drive both an automatic and a manual, right? So for us, what we do is we're going to train you with both, you know, both an automatic and we also train you with a manual so that at least, you know, you know what you're doing. Uh, the manual costs 6500 and then the automatic costs 4500 That's just, that's just the main difference. And that comes, yeah, that comes with flexible scheduling. So you don't have to be here the whole day, like, you know, most other schools. Uh, so if you're working or if you have, you know, other things going on, uh, we have different class sessions. Say, for example, the first session is uh, between 8 to 11. So it's about three hours generally, but it can be four or five, just depending on, you know, you know what you prefer. But it generally goes between 8 to 11, and then another one from 11 to 2, and then another one from 2 to 5. All right, you mind me asking? And then they last for about four to six weeks. You mind me asking, are are you guys accredited and how many hours that I will receive? Uh, you will receive about 160 hours of training. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And again, like I said before, you guys are accredited, right? Yes. Do you guys uh, offer any type of financial assistance uh, for, for, for yes, those we do. that don't have? Okay, okay. Uh, what if, okay, so what if, now you said... Uh, that we can train out of a manual or an automatic. It doesn't matter. It's just the difference in cost. But what if I have a class B license and I want to transition to an A? Would that still cost me the same? Uh, it'll be the yes, because it's going to be the same process, right? Uh, in order for you to get your A, you would have to do the same things you would do as if you didn't even have a B, you know? Just in the state of Minnesota. Okay. Most states nowadays, I think. Would that be yeah. the Would that be the same if I was to have a restricted A license and I'm coming to you to get you know to train out in the manual? Would that still cost the same as well? Uh, no. Uh, the only thing would be when you're taking your test, it's going to be the same thing. You know, you would have to get a new permit, um, and then do the same type of testing. What about for what about for drivers? Because I got I got a I got a, a buddy that stay in uh, that stay in Georgia, but he's planning on coming up here to Minnesota with me. Um, he has his permit out of Georgia. Would that be okay, or do we still got to get his permit out of Minnesota? Well, it depends. Does he if he wants to test here in Minnesota, then he has to get a Minnesota license. You know, because the people down at the DMV. 
their system doesn't work like that. You have to have, uh, they need a Minnesota number to type on there. However, what we can do is we can train him here and then we can send him to another place down in Utah where, you know, they will test him because we trained him. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. Uh, I only have a few more questions. So what is, what is my, uh, what is my options if I fail the exam? Would I be able to retake it? And if so, how many times I'll be yes. able to retake it? About three times. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And I guess my last question is, uh, once I get my CDL, will you guys help me, help me with job placement? Like you guys will suggest type, uh, oh, suggest yes, any yes. companies that will take me on? Yes. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. We do have a bunch of companies here that come to our school and recruit our students. All right. Awesome. How long have you guys been in existence? Because this is the first time I ever heard of you. Oh, really? About six years. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Well, yeah. hey, thank you very much. Uh, I really appreciate it because, like I said, I'm just doing my research. I'm trying to flip-flop between, you know, should I go to a company or should I just save my money and come to an actual school? So thank you very much, sir. Yeah, no problem. But remember, if you wanted to do that, that financial assistance, these agencies that we work with that will give you some type of uh, uh, grants, uh, you just have to come down to the school and then uh, well, you speak with the uh, director and then he will guide you through, through the process of who to go talk to. And then, yes, they'll help pay for your tuition. All right, cool. Well, I'll go ahead and uh, sh uh, shoot this information over to my um to my buddy and I'm also in the I'm also in the Facebook group as well. So I'll go ahead and shoot that information to them as well. So thank you very much, sir. Okay, brother, no problem. Awesome. Maylee Trans Trucking School out of Shakopee, Minnesota. <laughs> you can earn your CDL just as little as four to six weeks with the Miley Trans. They will teach you or train you both standard and automatic. It's just that it's a cost for uh, it's a separate cost if you want to train, uh, if you want to exam out in a manual or if you want to exam out in a automatic. 6500 for the manual, 4000 for the automatic, which is good. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. They also have financial aid, so you could probably get a grant. If you guys stay up in the Minnesota area and is interested in trucking, and want to go to trucking school, May Lee, May, May Lee Trucking will probably be for you. They has been established for over six years. They are accredited. You will get about 165 or 160 hours of training in. They have certified courses where you can choose the times where you can come. So if you're still working, or have a job, you can still continue your job while you're getting your CDL. They also have refresher course. As I mentioned, if you have your class B and you want to upgrade to a class A, they have it. And if your license are restricted and want to test out or exam out in a manual, you can do it with them as well. Well, why mainly out in Shakopee? They said they have classes every Monday, but they classes do fill up fast. So definitely call the young man that I just talked to and you will get in. Mainly Trans Trucking School, Shakopee, Minnesota. If you guys are interested, the information for them will be in the description below. Let them know that your guy, your host, Lockout Men sent you. All right. Until next time, everybody.